ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my first weapon review for Battlefield Hardline. Today, we'll be focusing on the M416, arguably the best assault rifle in the game right now, for reasons that I'll explain in a minute. But first of all, let me just point out a few things as to what we're going to be doing in these reviews. Essentially, each week we will pick a weapon, any kind of weapon, so it could be a pistol, a shotgun, a battle rifle, etc. And we'll take a look at it, have a look at some statistics, and see where it fits in against similar weapons. I'll also be recommending my favourite way to run the gun in terms of attachments and optics, in the hope that you guys can then pick up this weapon in-game, know exactly what it's all about, and start destroying people with it. I'm also planning on running a loadout series too, where people can suggest like iconic criminal and police force loadouts to me in the comments section, and then I can pick one for the next video. That gives it a little bit more user experience for you guys, and you get some interaction and some input into the videos that are going on my channel. Right then, without further ado, let's dive into this with the M416. Many of you battle-hardened veterans out there will know a lot about the 416 from previous titles. I can remember it being in the series as far back as Bad Company 2, and after that, my memory goes a little bit fuzzy. It's a wrecking ball of an assault rifle, and it sits right where you want it to. It's great at short, medium, and long-range engagements in Battlefield Hardline, making it a very popular choice among players. But what specifically is it about the M416 that makes it so versatile and popular? Well, let's look at some of its key stats to begin with. First of all, you're going to have to buy the thing. The M416 is only available to the criminals to begin with, and it's in the operator class, which is the one that holds assault rifles and carbines. And you'll need to lay down $50,000 cash to be able to equip it in the loadout screen. If you're struggling to make up some of those funds, I did make a video last week that shows you some really cool ways that you can earn XP and cash really fast in this game. That's linked in the description and the thumbnails on screen right now if you want to click it, and then you can come back to this video after. Once you've made the sacrifice of your hard-earned cash, you'll be presented with a less than standard damage model, or one that you're not really too familiar with. The weapon starts with a maximum of 28 damage, inside 40 meters. Now many of you might remember that the drop-off for assault rifles in Battlefield 4 was only 12 meters. 40 is significantly longer than that. That translates to a four-shot kill anywhere inside that 40 meter radius, and it drops to three shots a kill if you manage to smash your opponent in the head. That damage then drops off to 18 at 60 meters, which still guarantees you a fairly low six shot kill at range. The increase between the damage model here, what we have in Battlefield Hardline, and the one that people might have become accustomed to in Battlefield 4 is very noticeable. People drop a lot faster. Rate of fire has been increased up from the levels that we saw in Battlefield 4 as well, bumped up to 850 rounds a minute now, which is extremely fast, and bullet velocity is a not too shabby 600 meters a second. So, high damage, high rate of fire, and fast bullet velocity. This weapon seems just a little bit too powerful, doesn't it? Going along with that insanely good damage model, we have a very favorable recoil pattern for this weapon. Horizontal movement is only 0.05 to the left, which is basically non-existent, and 0.2 to the right. So this thing is pretty damn accurate from those values. Where we hit a little bit of a problem is when we look at the vertical recoil, which stands at 0.525. Now that's fairly high, and you'll notice it a lot when you go for the long range targets. Also, the first shot recoil multiplier, which is a value that increments the recoil of the first bullet to leave the barrel of your gun, is a whopping 2.2. And that gives you a fairly difficult task of keeping those crosshairs on target of your enemy if you're outside your general comfort zone. So if you are going for extremely long targets, your first bullet is just going to fly way higher than what you were expecting. To make this weapon even better than what it was standard naked, so with no attachments, when you do put attachments on there, this thing becomes just like 
amazing. <laughs> now I favoured the extended mags, heavy barrel and the angled foregrip here for the M416. Extended mags is just a preference that I like to equip on most weapons that support it. I mean, you can never have too many bullets, right? But the two that I really want to mention are the heavy barrel and the angled foregrip. First up, the heavy barrel no longer increases your recoil like it did in Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 3. It now makes your weapon more accurate by reducing the recoil of the weapon. It also reduces the base spread of the weapon too. So this attachment doesn't just come with one benefit, it comes with two, making it far better than pretty much any of the other barrel options out there. The angled foregrip helps to reduce the first shot recoil multiplier by 33%. So those longer range battles that we were talking about where the bullet just flies straight up and over the enemy, with the angled foregrip, you might be able to keep your sights on target a little bit easier. If you wanted, you could switch out the extended mags with a laser sight to help your hit fire out a little bit. On maps like The Block and Hollywood Heights, two very close quarter infantry centric maps, this could be a real help to you when you're trying to battle it out against the PDWs, which absolutely wreck at close range in this game. So, summary time. The M416 wrecks face. Plain and simple, there's no argument about that. It probably is the best assault rifle out there right now. And as you can see from the gameplay, it's not exactly difficult to get the kills that you're going for. I am gonna go out there and call this weapon almost too powerful for its own good. I think it could benefit from a horizontal recoil nerf as bullets right now seem to just be so damn accurate at range, it's ridiculous. And to be brutally honest, I'm not a fan of this 28 max damage model either. It just feels a little bit cheap. I mean, it's like weapons like the L85, which are supposed to be great at long range, are simply outgunned by a weapon that's not supposed to be good at that range because the damage model is helping it out so much. There's basically no reason to use another assault rifle if you've got this thing unlocked. If you manage to get your 1,250 kills with this and move it over to the cop faction as well, you never need to use another assault rifle right now. This thing will just is just better than anything else in the game. But there we go, you may as well use the M416 as it stands right now because it's just bloody awesome. Thank you very much for watching today guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, if you could leave me a rating, that'd be absolutely fantastic. And don't forget to check out g2a.com slash r slash westy for great deals on the latest games and use the code west for an additional discount. The link's in the description. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.